guys welcome to boxing block center the home of nigerian african boxing and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and sell it all so i'm dropping you bang a new exclusive video you will definitely be notified the the bronze bomba water I stated that uh, he believes Olesna Usyk is a threat to Anthony Joshua, saying anyone is a threat until proven otherwise. Wada responding to a question. Of course, we all know, we already know that uh, Tyson Fury, you know, called Usyk too small for the vision and uh, sped. Uh, expect Joshua to walk uh, right through him you know Fury is a guy you don't have to trust this guy answers questions very uh, wisely you know and he's very cunning in a way so Wada said this regarding Joshua versus uh, um, Usyk and if Usyk if Joshua would be Usyk or, or Usyk uh, will give him problems Wada said I quote Everyone is a threat until proven otherwise. Every fight is dangerous. You never know what a night, you never know what night a person will have. What I said to Sky Sports. His trainer, Miley Scott, also, you know, went further to say, Usyk is a dangerous fight for anybody, not just Joshua. You have to commend Joshua for taking him on. Usyk is not a guy everybody's trying to fight. He's a guy that people would prefer not to fight. Usyk is learning on a job against the most dangerous guys. He didn't go on a seven fight plan. This is his third fight at Everweight. That's a big climb. It would be interesting how Usyk responds to Joshua's size. And technically it is. And how Joshua responds to Usyk's speed as a sword paw. Guys, you heard it from Wada himself and his trainer Malik Scott. Malik Scott tends to know a lot about boxing though. I have to give that guy props. You know, I have to give that guy props. He tends to know a lot about boxing, you know. It's crazy how Wada is now very, very... Um, now, Wada is, is more open to answering questions now in a very interesting way, you know. Open-minded. Compared to before, I mean, I remember when Water was asked before, uh, you know, when, wh whoever wh Joshua fought. Water, Water always said then that those guys, you know, those guys are tomato cans or they are not, they are no match for Joshua. That Joshua would beat them in a way. Looks like the loss to Fury has made him humble. I hope Water continues this, or maybe he's because he's found out about his Nigerian roots and him being from Edo tribe. AKA Benin. He uh he's not being his brother's keeper. I don't know, man, but of course this is gonna talk trash because they are fathers, by the way. But it's very interesting response. This is an interesting response from Water. I wasn't expecting this. I was just expecting to say, oh sick, oh that guy is a nobody, you know, what just was gonna beat him up badly and all this kind of stuff. That's not what we heard. That's not what we heard yet. <laughs> The under the bronze bomba water. You know, living up to being your brother's keeper. That's nice. Anyway, what do you make of this, bro? Todd Jackway. You reading that, honestly, that that <laughs> that's the first time I would think um Wilder is uh, actually speaking the truth, or that's the first time you would think uh, uh, um this this can't be this can't be wilder, you know. You wouldn't think you would say something like that. Wilder, Wilder, knowing the uh, heavyweight landscape, he himself knows who who is dangerous and who is not. Listen, I don't know if he's been, if he if he basically said um, in the past that. I don't think I've heard him say it. Saying Fury's a small guy. 
and he's not dangerous. Well, I, I say fear. Uh, Al- Al- Alexander Usyk is a small guy, and he's not dangerous. Well, basically, you know, it's it's something that you you can't you can't believe yourself because listen, Usyk is undefeated. It's who he is. He's a skilled fighter. Listen, he might not possess the power that that you're seeking, or the power that people are seeking. He might just be, you know, a, um, a regular cruiserweight. You know, he might he might be a guy who might also be blown up, trying to blow himself balloon himself up to heavyweight. Regardless, it's his skills that got him to where he is, and skills pay the bills, right? And Usyk has worked his way up from from his amateur career, from um, from from the Olympics. He beat Tony Bellew, knocked Tony Bellew out. And I must say, he's an extremely dangerous guy. Is he dangerous for? Is he dangerous in in terms of skill wise for Anthony Joshua? Yes. Is he dangerous in terms of? AJP knocked out? No, he's not. That is what Wilder meant. U- Usyk is an elusive fighter. You know, his like I some of these guys the the best offense is their best defense at the same time. And also, it could be it could be their uh, uh, their, their 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 worst part of, worst part about them. You know. Usyk now is going to go into a fight with Anthony Joshua, who's a heavy hitter, who's also extremely skilled as well. They'll be fighting, and you like like Wilder said, you never know. You know, since since he himself bit, has been humble. Listen, when these guys right, they, when these guys remain undefeated, these certain fighters they remain undefeated. They think they're unstoppable, and all of a sudden you just get that one guy. You know. Or I've been saying that that just that off night, that anomaly that would happen to that fighter, and then it just brings them down, and it just shows, man, there's there's another world out there beside me, you know. And I just got humbled, and my my whole mindset of the whole of the landscape has changed. And I do believe um, Wilder knows Usyk will play a role. Does he believe Wilder will be AJ? There's a doubt in his mind, saying, "Nah, no, I don't think Usyk would be AJ," you know. But there's a, also a doubt in his mind. There's also a doubt in his mind, saying, "Man, Usyk can't beat AJ if AJ doesn't come in there and take Usyk seriously. If AJ does, I say it. I'll say it again. If AJ does not go in there and take Usyk seriously, and doesn't so and doesn't show him, bro, you step up to me, man, you're gonna get hurt. You think you're gonna punch?" your way through or, or show your skills here you're gonna get hurt man come on come on let's bring it that's that's what he that's what i that's what i mean that's what i'm pretty sure that's what wilder means too that in, in wilder's career listen he had the powerful right hand and you know what that powerful right hand did to people it made him not really step up to wilder like i'm gonna push you that's what it did that's how wilder was able to show his dominance in that ring now if aj cannot do the same against Usyk. It will be a problem for him. That's what. That's what. That's what. That's what the whole. That's what Wilder means, and that's that's uh, for 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 him to say that. Wilder has surely grown, and I've always. Um, I, I I'm glad what Wilder has um, employed Malik Scott as his trainer, <laughs> because uh, I I I honestly did not want. I honestly did not like JDs. I did like Martin Britain you know to an extent but well, gds not, is stealing his, in his corner bro <laughs> but not i don't think not as much man i, yeah, he, I mean he more. doesn't make the decision anymore yeah but you know he's still he's still beside him jds is just like i don't know man i, I talk a lot of crap so you know like a yes man yes man you know just, just yes man even bro. even even with breathing listen i i liked what i liked what uh uh smithick scott said while they listen man if I'm going to train you, you got to do what I say when it comes to regards to boxing. You got to do it. Those hard work, those those days that you don't run, you got to do it. You got to you got to do it. You know, those other guys, they weren't able to do it. 
So I think Malik Scott working in this trainer changed his whole aspects. Even Malik Scott knows. Listen, I know AJ is gonna be. Listen, you're not. There's no people are saying that AJ is gonna be the easiest fight. Well, no, it's not. Malik Scott even knows that for a fact. So, and Wilder might say something different, but in, his, in the back of his head, he's lying. Malik Scott might might even is probably they probably had that talk now man this fight is going to be it's it's either going to it's either going to be easy for aj or it's going to be hard for aj because that guy's undefeated and i'm not going to take anything away from from Usyk because he's an exceptional exceptional boxer even if he hasn't fought any have any elite heavyweights but cruiserweight is next to heavyweight and he's proven himself he's beaten Tony Bellew, who beat david Henry. let's be honest man Let's be honest, and that's the way it is. So, and that's just, and that's just the way. I'm, I, that's why I'm gonna end it. I I I I I know Usyk. The Usyk fight coming up is gonna be, is gonna is gonna be the one to, to see what's gonna happen, change the landscape. But I don't think AJ would allow Usyk to do allow Usyk to do such a thing. His his loss to Andrew Ruiz alone has changed him. Changed his whole. The way he sees things, he's not gonna let, he's not gonna let another Andy Ruiz happen. I guarantee it. And that's where I'm gonna end. Thanks, but I do appreciate it. And you're definitely right that Joshua is not going to let another Andrews Jr. You know, happen to him, especially um, looking at the fact that uh, you know an undisputed bout could happen this year. You know, so either with Fury or Water. This is big year for Joshua, you know, big year for Wada, big year for Fury. So both of them are locked. They, I mean, they are locked in right now. I have to say this is the first time Wada is really showing, like really speaking his mind and the, the truth, you know, and the truth when it comes to I mean, Joshua in a way, and Joshua's fight. Okay, Joshua, when it comes to Joshua's fight. Wada is a nice guy, man. Like, he just that. He's caught a lot of uh, fan boys, bro. Those fan boys are delusional, bro. You know, he's wanting to be a fan of someone. He's wanting to be so delusional. Of course, you've got Joshua fan boys who are also like that in a way. You know, I'm a hardcore Joshua fan, but I'm not a fan boy. That's two different things. I support Joshua. I'm a hardcore fan of his because he's a Nigerian. And he represents, you know, same as a Jabba. Sima Rafa Akbojiri and Wilder now has been added to the group. So we'll see who is with Wilder. God bless uh, uh, Mali Scott for speaking the fact. And uh, God bless Wilder. We hope our ancestors will be with him against Fury because I do want to see him be Fury. I just want to see him be Fury. I want to see him be Fury. Fury has tricked us enough. The guy thinks he's Alpha and Omega, he thinks he's this, I understand he's got the skill set and everything, he know, I know, he's far more skillful than Wilder, no doubt, but Wilder's got a chance in this fight, he's got to take the blessings of his ancestors, he's got to be mentally strong for this fight, he's got to try not to fall into Fury's trap, because Fury is going to play around, but if, I, if Wilder can get through all those all those fury uh, tricks in a ring and not go back to his old ways water wins this fight and i can't wait stay tuned guys mm -hmm.